Good day and welcome to today's class. In today's class, we shall be looking at the mathematics curriculum for SS1. And the mathematics curriculum for SS1, which is the senior secondary school, is a follow-up of the curriculum from the junior secondary school. This is where we mostly have issues with students when it comes to the transition from the junior secondary school to the senior secondary school. As a result of you not being able to complete the scheme of work for the junior secondary school, it's always a problem starting that of the senior secondary school. So I'm going to give you a rundown of the topics in the senior secondary school one, which you should expect as a student entering senior secondary school one, which is SS1. The teams in senior secondary school one is a little different from that of junior secondary school one. The teams are also five in number. Two teams from the junior secondary school is being merged into one and a new one has been introduced. So in SS1, you may not see the calculus, but which may later come in in the SS3. But for the SS1, we have teams like the numbers and numerations, which you also have in the junior secondary. So we have the numbers and numeration, we have the algebraic processes, we have the geometry, and we have the statistics. When we get to SS3, you will discover that they have introduced a fifth team in the senior secondary, which is calculus. But for the senior secondary school one and senior secondary school two, you have only four teams. Now, which was removed from the junior? The junior was five, but that of SS1 and 2 is now four. So if you go back to the junior secondary school one, you will discover that that of the basic operation is no longer there because it is expected that you have having done basic operations from GSS1 to 3, you should be conversant with the basic operations. So it is no longer done in senior secondary, but you may begin to apply them now in each of these um, other four teams that you did in the junior secondary. That is why it is no longer um, taught in the senior secondary, but rather a new team has been introduced because that is just an introduction to aid you do well in other teams. So we shall be looking at the topics for each of these teams. Under numbers and numeration, we now have topics like number-based system, we have the modular arithmetics, we have the indices, logarithms, and sets, making it a total of five topics under numbers and numeration. Under algebraic processes, we have topics like simple equations and variation, which is a continuation from the junior secondary. We have quadratic equation, logical reasoning, now, you will discover that in your junior secondary, we did simple equations. Now, in the senior secondary, we now have simple equations and variation. And we are continuing with quadratic equation, which is a higher version of simple equation, and then logical reasoning. So we have a total of three topics under algebraic processes. Also, under geometry, we will now do construction, proofs, of some basic theorems, trigonometric ratios, and mensuration. So we have a total of four topics to be treated in SS1. Also, under statistics, we now have data presentation. We have learned how to collect data, the need for data collections. Now you've been introduced into data presentation. How do you present it? Either um, by pie chart, histogram, or what have you. So you are going to learn all of this in SS1. So under these four themes, these are the topics you are expected to learn in SS1. So we have a total of, let's take note of all these topics. This is five, six, seven, eight. Eight plus five is 12. So we have a total of 12 topics to be done in SS1. And if you divide 12 by three, it gives you a total of four broad topics in SS1. I'll call it broad topics because these are not just small. 
Most times, it takes you two to three weeks to treat a topic. Did I say two to three? Sometimes three to four, four weeks to treat a topic. That is, if you have to treat it to the best understanding of the least child in your class. In our subsequent classes in SS1, I shall be treating each of these topics sequentially to your understanding. Kindly like our videos as you watch. Why we recommend that you subscribe to our channel if you are yet to do so. Also turn on the notification bell so as to be notified whenever a new video is being uploaded. You also encourage to use the comment section to interact with me on areas that are still difficult to you. You can also share the link with your friends and families so that they can also benefit from this project. From time to time, we shall be having an online live class session where I shall be attending to your questions and we shall be solving some exercises together. Thank you and do have a nice day. For more content on mathematics like this, follow me for more. Do have a nice day.